to sugarcoat it, this is a very sad day for our community. And I think about the thousands of lesbian, gay, bisexual people, the couples, the parents, the children who woke up this morning hoping that their status as equal citizens of this state would be restored. And uh, the court has uh, crushed uh, those hopes and dreams today. And it's a, a terrible body blow uh, to equality and a terrible blow to our community. The human impact of this decision is going to be devastating and overwhelming. You know, the court's job is to act as a check on the abuse of majority power, to protect minority rights, to stand up for equal protection. And the court sidestepped that responsibility with this decision today. And Justice Moreno, in his dissent, got it exactly right. Promising equal treatment to some is fundamentally different from promising equal treatment to all. Promising treatment that is almost equal is fundamentally different from ensuring truly equal treatment. Granting a disfavored minority only some of the rights enjoyed by the majority is fundamentally different from recognizing as a constitutional imperative that they must be granted all of those rights. Granting same-sex couples all of the rights enjoyed by opposite-sex couples except the right to call their family relationship a marriage still denies them equal treatment. I want to say one thing to all of the couples out there who are dealing with the impact of this decision and trying to explain it to your children. We should not forget for one moment, you are entitled to full equality under the law. You're entitled to equal dignity and respect. No court decision can change that truth. It can only fail to acknowledge that truth. And now the burden is back on us to reach out to our neighbors, to the voters in California, and trust that they will be fair-minded and recognize that we are their neighbors, colleagues, co-workers, family members, and that they will restore equality to our state constitution. Thanks very much.